Members have made very clear this morning, this case has profound consequences for press, freedom and democracy around the world. Public accountability and democracy cannot be limited only to those who's, who are in power and what they dictate. We must be absolutely clear. Julian Assange is where he is today because of his whistleblowing activities about illegal wars, about mass murder, about the murder of civilians and about corruption on a grand scale. I keep asking myself, what does it say about our society that Julian Assange is pursued for publishing information about serious human rights violations, but those responsible for these crimes continue to enjoy impunity. In 2003, I was 13 and I marched against the Iraq war. I know how that war caused devastation and destruction in that region, but the consequences of that war were felt in East London, where I was brought up, and the consequences are felt to this day. Where is the justice? Human rights are also at the core of what is at stake. As has been mentioned, I have no confidence that if Julian is extradited, that his life will not be at risk. The evidence is very clear that if he is extradited, he could be at risk of treatment amounting to torture and other forms of ill treatment. Punishment including the death penalty. That's why I think people all over the world understand the seriousness of this case. I really think that we cannot say that we stand for press freedom if freedom only exists if it does not challenge or go beyond what certain powers want. And human rights are not inalienable if they are partially applied at the whims of the most powerful. And we must remember that whatever happens today. Press freedom and human rights are exactly about protecting people against the tyrannies of power. And it's that freedom and that right that we must continue to defend today and going forward. Free, free! Free!